Now that we've learned when to use the various chords in the accompanying songs, let's now learn how to play these chords in a rhythm, a beat, or a style, as might be said. Look for illustration 27. Follow the directions and cut out the four guides along the dotted lines. These guides slide under the strings in the narrow space between the chord bars and the end cover. Make sure the guide is lined up exactly under the low F string and the high C string as marked on the guide. Now, let's slide guide number one under the strings. Notice the long, heavy arrows pointing from left to right or away from you as the auto harp sits in your lap. The beginning of the arrow is where we begin the strum and we stop the strum exactly where the arrow stops. Notice also that the arrows are numbered in the sequence or order in which they are to be played. Push down the G chord with the left index finger and with the right hand holding the pick, strum over the first arrow and count. One. Now on the second beat or count, we strum the rest of the strings as arrow number two shows. Two. On count three, we go back to the bass strings. Three. And at the last beat of the measure, we do as we did in the second count, four. Now let's put all this together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now slide the second guide under the strings. This shows a variation of four, four or common time. Push down the G chord and follow the arrows here exactly as we did in guide one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Guide three is for three, four or waltz time. With the G chord depressed, let's play this rhythm pattern. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Guide four is simply a variation of three, four, or waltz time and sounds like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. These guides give you four simple rhythm patterns, but as you probably see, there are many, many other ways of playing rhythm. Illustration 28 shows just a few more methods of playing the rhythm. Let's take figure one of illustration 28 and see how this rhythm sounds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here, on the count of two, we brush up and back, as I've just illustrated, and as the arrows indicate. This is still a four-four time rhythm with four beats or counts, but we've just added two strokes, one up and one back, on the count of two, like this. Two, two. Practice the other rhythm variations on illustration 28, and then experiment with songs of your own. You'll find many combinations. Now, let's put some of these rhythm patterns we've just learned with our introductory song, Red River Valley. You'll see from illustration 25, where the melody is written out, that we don't begin a full measure of four counts until the words sit. So then, playing in the key of F, let's use rhythm pattern one and play Red River Valley. Please come sit by my side, little darling. Let's do the same thing now using the rhythm pattern given on illustration 28, figure 1. Here, you remember, we use the brushing stroke. Please come sit by my side, little
Now practice using all the rhythms you've learned with the various other songs that you perhaps know. Notice how different rhythms give a certain ring or beat to the music that adds to the variety and the enjoyment.